Are you a business starting out and looking for a type of accounting to make sure that your records look good enough to present to a bank? Or are you an existing business that really never took the time to properly document your paperwork? In this video, I'm gonna go over the different products that are offered by QuickBooks. What are some of the benefits of each and what the monthly cost is that you can expect to pay for each one of the services. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you my recommendation on the package that we use for our trucking company and has worked for us for the last three and a half years. Welcome or welcome back to Mystery of Money, where I discuss all topics that surround money, and I've been focusing more on small business side of money and how it works best for your business. If that sounds like something that interests you, I invite you to subscribe and join me on this small business adventure. Quick note, this video is not sponsored by QuickBooks. It's just something I felt I should get out there because when I meet with a lot of businesses that don't have any proper record keeping plan, and then it comes time to finance an expansion or a buyout or anything like that, they have to rush around and get all the paperwork ready. Another quick note is that some banks do charge a fee if you want to connect your QuickBooks account with your online banking and bring in the transactions. So make sure you check with your bank to make sure that your account information is available to download your transactions. If not really wanting to pay that fee, you can also sign up for a no checking account which is a free account I'll put a link in the description below where you get full access and you can download your transactions directly from your Nova checking account. The videos aren't sponsored by Nova. I just really like the product and I do get a small commission if you sign up. But overall, I've been using that platform for over a year and I really like the bank account. Also, because it's the end of the year, if you're looking to start the new year outright and starting a business, I'm putting my business plan course on sale through the end of the year for 19 bucks. If you're interested in that course where I walk you through the entire process of a business plan, make sure you head over to my website or click the link below and sign up before December 31st. When it comes to signing up for QuickBooks, if you head right there to their website, you're gonna be overwhelmed with the amount of choices that they offer. And I say QuickBooks Online because the traditional platform that you bought QuickBooks and put it on your computer and bought a software package every year is going away in the future. And also, unless you're a really established business with lots of accounts receivable and payable and invoicing and all those things, you don't really need that robust of a service. Let me know in the comments what service you use. Is it QuickBooks? Is it something else? Do you use a spreadsheet? Let me know what you use to keep your books straight. QuickBooks Online is going to work virtually for all small businesses in some way. When you open the webpage on quickbooks.com, there's the traditional banner where they're trying to upsell you some other service like bookkeeping. But what you wanna do is go to the service plan section. This is where you're gonna see all of the plans. If you first sign up for QuickBooks, they're going to give you 50% off for a three month period of time and potentially a 30 day trial. But once those trials and offers are over, the price will increase to the standard price, which I'm going to present now. If you have a very basic business, meaning that you only wanna track your cash flow in and cash flow out, the best option for you is going to be Simple Start. With the Simple Start, you're going to be able to track income and expenses, you're going to be able to invoice and accept payments, you can maximize your tax deductions, you can run general reports like a profit and loss and a balance sheet, you can capture and organize receipts, and you can also track mileage. Even with this service, you're still going to be able to manage 1099 contractors if your business utilizes those. With a Simple Start subscription, you're going to run $25 a month. That's at the full price after the three months or 50% off, whatever. Now you're going to have some taxes and fees attached to that, so it's gonna be a little bit more than $25 a month. Like I said before, Simple Start is going to work for most businesses. The next step up is going to be the business essentials. This is going to run you $50 a month and it will do everything that the Simple Start does, but you're also going to be able to include three people to run your books. Let's say you're the owner of the business and you have a manager and you want them to have the ability to enter in invoices or expenses or income or things like that, then you're going to have to upgrade to this package and this will enable you to do that. This one's also going to allow you to pay bills through QuickBooks platform. And one of the other major benefits is it's going to allow you to track time. And if you've gotten any value so far, could you do me a favor and smash that like button? It really helps out the channel and thank you very much. Next up is going to be the Plus. Plus is going to do everything that the previous one did, but it's also going to allow for five users, the ability to track inventory and the ability to track and project profitability. This is definitely going to be a larger of a small business that would use this platform. Talking multiple employees, maybe different departments, all needing access to the QuickBooks information. Also, if your business has an active inventory system that you're not managing somewhere else, this will be able to track your inventory. So if you have any kind of inventory that you track, this is gonna be your least expensive step to get that accomplished. The last one you're going to have is the advanced. The advanced is going to have everything that we just talked about, plus a whole lot of other features. This is if you are a true largest of small businesses. This is where you're going to have probably an accounting team, you're going to have to track expenses for employees, and you're going to almost need one-to-one -one coaching for your staff on how to use QuickBooks. 
Now, I'm not saying that this isn't the most valuable, but it's a little bit overkill for most small businesses. So these are the most readily available packages that QuickBooks offers. There is one more additional package, which is only for self-employed. This would be definitely for your sole proprietor or your true really small mom and pop shop where you're the single owner and those types of businesses. This is going to be if you're running a single bank account and let's say it's under your name, and you want to separate out the business expenses from the personal expenses, this is gonna allow you to categorize those. So now that we went over all the different packages, let's go over what's the advantage of using QuickBooks or any other type of accounting software. Using an accounting software is gonna be the best way to know where your business is at any point in time. Spreadsheets are great and you can make them pretty sophisticated, but at the end of the day, they can't do what something like QuickBooks can do. Unless you have extremely thorough knowledge of building databases and spreadsheets, the learning curve is pretty steep, and this is a way to bypass that. When I started my YouTube channel, I started to receive some income from advertising and some consultations and things like that. So I utilized a spreadsheet, and the one I built was pretty basic. Once I realized that I was going to make more than a couple dollars for the channel, I needed a way to keep track of the expenses and also prepare for tax time. Since I own multiple businesses and also have a full-time job, I have different income streams that come in, so my accountant needs to know all of the information to properly prepare my taxes. The number one reason I would think to have this type of system is to prepare for taxes. At the end of the day, any money you make, you're required to pay taxes on it. This is a good way of making sure that your business is taking all the necessary deductions that they can do to minimize their taxable income. The second reason why I like accounting software is the fact that you can pull reports and know where you are. If you wanna see how your business is doing for the month and what expenses you had, you can pull a report and know exactly where the money went. For me, this allows me to see trends over time. I can pull a profit and loss statement for one year broken out by month, and I can see how my costs increase and decrease throughout the time period. For the YouTube channel, this isn't that in depth. I really only go into QuickBooks maybe once or twice a week just to see any transactions that have hit the account. YouTube pays out monthly, so there really is only one income that I receive on a consistent basis. As for my trucking business, I'm in QuickBooks pretty much daily. Most of the time, after my day job's over, in the evenings, I will log on to check any expenses that come in on any of our credit cards, make sure any of the bills that we need to pay are ready, and also generally check for where the account levels are. This is extremely important nowadays because of the amount of fraud. The third reason that you may want to get some sort of accounting system is if you ever want to borrow money. It's much easier to simply print out these reports, hand them to your lender, and work through the process than it is to gather all your receipts and all your sales and a ton of other information, jumble it into a folder, and hand it over. Banks, credit unions, any kind of lending institution like clear and concise reports. Handing a shoebox full of paperwork to a lender or an accountant is probably not the best course of action. My recommendation to any small business is once you start realizing a decent revenue, or I should say, any revenue that you're going to be taxed on, you might as well pay for an accounting software. All of my bank accounts are linked and will automatically flow into QuickBooks. And if they're not automatically categorized, I can go in and change them and make sure the books are reconciled. Like I said earlier, check with your bank to make sure if they will charge a fee for this service. If they do charge a fee, seriously look into adding a checking account with Nova. It's a great service, it's free, there's no miscellaneous fees to kill you. And again, the link's in the description below, so check it out. Now, what products do I personally use? For the trucking company, we use Simple Start. We have used that ever since we began the business and we have never really seen a need to change from that. For that business, I get two settlement checks per month and I pay payroll weekly. That leads me into my next service. We do have QuickBooks full service payroll. The base for cost for that is around $75 a month plus $4 per employee and a couple other fees. If you'd like another video about QuickBooks, how they do my payroll, post that comment below and I can put that video out too. For the YouTube channel, I utilize the Simple Start also. I did start out with the freelancer, but I quickly found out that I don't manage my banking with my personal so it wasn't really working for me. Plus I wanted a little bit more of the services as far as classifying transactions and sending invoices. But so far I've been extremely happy with the whole process with QuickBooks. Every time I reach out to customer service, I get a great response time and really never had any issues. Let me know if you use QuickBooks or if you would consider in the future. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you answered any questions when it comes to the QuickBooks subscriptions, what they look like and what the benefits are of each. If you have any other questions on QuickBooks or any other business topics in general, make sure you post them in the comments below. I wish you the happiest of holidays and until next time, have a great day.